Now, meteorologist Eric Johnson with the Idaho News 6 forecast. From record-breaking snowfall to record warmth, the Treasure Valley has dealt with a roller coaster ride of extremes this month. Now take a look at this. Boise sees an average of about five inches of snowfall during January, but this year we nearly quadrupled normal values with over 22 inches of snowfall piling up in the city of trees. Now temperatures are soaring to around uh, record levels. In fact, Boise hit 60 degrees this afternoon, marking the first 60 degree reading during January in almost 30 years. There is also a chance Boise will tie or surpass its warmest January temperature on record. Now for newcomers, it may seem that the recent winter blast was an extreme event. While the snowfall did break some records, the frigid temperatures are nothing out of the ordinary. In fact, winters used to be much colder. This chart shows the coldest temperature rec recorded each year from 1970 to 2023. As you can see, sub-zero nights are becoming much more uncommon here in the Boise area. In fact, the average lowest temperature rose by nearly 16 degrees over the course of more than five decades. Now to shed some light and experience, I want to bring in our chief meteorologist, Scott Zorval. And Scott, you have been forecasting in the valley for decades, and you, have you seen these trends here across the last few years? Yeah, it certainly has been noticeable, and you know, you have to wait through some time to, to get a trend going on. But when I got here in the 90s, uh, we were going below zero, it seemed pretty regularly, and then it, it kind of stopped, and then it, it started a little bit, and then it was gone again. And you look at this chart here, you see how those below zero days are just gone. And this chart here shows how that trend continues just in general for uh, 32 degree readings at night. You know, okay, we should go below freezing, right? But you see that trend going down here in the chart, only 16 day or 16 day change there, that many less days of getting colder. And if you talk to a lot of the folks that have been around here for a while, they'll say, yeah, it seems like winters were colder before and they're a little warmer now, at least in the, the overnight temperatures. We get our extremes, Eric, we still got them, but it's just not quite as bad as it was. And the data is certainly beginning to show it now. Yeah, for sure. And we still, of course, have plenty of time left of winter. So we'll see how the rest of our winter does pan out. Yeah.